Hello guys, uh, Dan here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to continue painting the uh, Ariadna side of the Crimson Stone pack. Uh, following this guide you'll be able to paint uh, all the rest uh, models uh, from the box. So today I'm going to show you how to paint uh, these three guys. The only one that is left is uh, Sniper. So I will show you in the next video how to do the camo pattern for that Sniper. But the rest of the stuff uh, will be same as in this video. So without further ado, sit back, relax and uh, let's do it. Uh, for the start I choose to use a black primer and I primed all the three models uh, with a few thin coats of uh, this primer until I got an even coat uh, all around the miniature so that I couldn't uh, see any metal under it. Uh, then I'm going to start uh, applying uh, one of my first uh, colors. And uh, for this uh, demo I've been going to use uh, this Volkolak Trooper because he's the chunkiest uh, of all of them so it will be easier to show you the details. So I'm going to use uh, Luftwaffe Camo Green as my base uh, green color and I'm going to apply it uh, in uh, one or two very thin coats, uh, depends uh, how the color uh, apply on the surface. And I'm going to use it for the pants and all those uh, little green pouches that they have uh, on their chest and the back. After this step is done, I'm going to move uh, to my next base color. Uh, so now I'm going to focus on the white armor panels. And I'm going to start uh, with the deck 10, uh, which is more on the grayish uh, side. Uh, so this uh, will have to be done in uh, two or in some cases even three very thin coats. So just uh, be patient and wait for the first coat completely to dry before you apply a second one. Uh, if you do it while the paint is still wet, uh, you will just keep moving the pigments around and you won't have a good coverage. So the key here is uh, to wait for the first uh, layer to completely dry before applying uh, next ones. The next step uh, is going to be to do the rest of the armor panels. Uh, these ones are going to be blue and for them I'm going to use uh, dark Prussian blue. Uh, this paint have a very good coverage so only one coat is enough. Uh, just uh, try to be uh, tidy as much as you can and try not to go over the panels that we already painted uh, white. We will just uh, quickly move on and continue on uh, painting the leather. Uh, for the base color of the leather I decided to use a chocolate brown. Uh, so just go around and apply this uh, paint uh, in uh, two very thin coats uh, because this color is like uh, semi-transparent so you will have to go a second time uh, to have a good volume of uh, this color. After this step is done, I'm going to pick up uh, Bagman's Glow and I'm going to use this color as my base uh, paint uh, for the skin. So I'm going to paint uh, all the exposed skin on the face and on the arms uh, with this color. Uh, on original art, uh, his uh, color is uh, orange or like a ginger. So to achieve that effect I'm going to use orange brown as my base uh, paint. So I'm going to paint the uh, hair with this and then later we are going to go more into the warmer orange. And that uh, warmer one is going to be a troll slayer orange. Uh, so wait uh, for the first uh, layer to dry and then just go over it uh, with the troll slayer orange and you will have a good uh, coverage and a good tone of uh, this uh, color. So this is going to be end of this stage and uh, after this I'm going to do a wash on all these three models. Uh, but for now I'm just going to show you quickly how they all look in this stage so you can copy the same patterns if you actually want to do it the same way as I did. 
so now I'm going to apply three different washes. Uh, for the skin I'm going to use a Gilliman Flash uh, Contrast Paint. I'm going to use it straight from the pot and apply it on the skin and on the hair of the wall collac. Uh, for the green pants I'm going to use Atonian uh, Camo Shade. Uh, also straight from the pot and apply it in uh, one coat. Just be careful not to go over the white armor panels uh, with the green shade. And then uh, for all the rest of the models I'm going to use a uh, non oil and I'm just going to wash uh, everything else. Uh, when I'm going to wash the white armor panels I'm just going to clear the excess uh, wash from the flat uh, areas on the top because I don't want them to get stained and I'm going to repaint them later anyway. Uh, after you apply the wash leave the miniatures for good like half an hour or 45 minutes for everything to dry properly before continuing uh, with the paint job. I'm going to start working on highlighting the pants and all the green stuff that they are wearing. For this uh, I will start with the uniform green and I'm going to repaint uh, all those green areas like 90% uh, of it. Uh, but I'm not going to paint any areas that are in the shadows or inside the recesses. I will left uh, all the job that the uh, wash uh, done intact uh, as my shadows. Uh, to make a highlight color I'm going to start with uh, adding a sunny skin tone to the previous color. I will start with the 50-50 mix and now I'm going to be focused only on the edge areas and the top of the folds. Also if you have any flat areas you're going to get uh, focused uh, on the most raised uh, parts of those areas. If you want some parts to be even lighter you can add a little more sunny skin tone and do uh, one more uh, layer of the highlights. But in this case I only did the one because I wanted a quicker uh, paint job. Now I will move on on highlighting the white armor panels. I will go back to the deck 10 and I'm going to repaint uh, these panels because uh, wash made them very desaturated and very dark. Uh, I'm going to be repainting like 95% uh, of them, same as in the previous case, but I will try to avoid all the recesses and all the, the shadow areas because uh, I'm just uh, going to use that uh, as my shadows and I'm going to be focused on expressing the highlights in the next step. Now I'm going uh, to start uh, highlighting. I will add a little of uh, white color to the deck 10 and I will start uh, highlighting the same raised areas of the armor, but this time I will cover much less area than I covered in the step before. And then I'm going to add a little more white and I'm going to cover even less areas than a previous step. Uh, so you're going to do like that uh, and going to be focused only on the areas that are going to be mostly exposed to the light from above. But in the final step you're going to use only pure white and that is going to be used only as an edge highlight uh, on the sharpest areas of the armor panels. I'm going to move on now finishing the work uh, on the skin. Uh, this will be a very simple process and painting the skin can be tricky for some people but actually it's very easy. So I'm going to use a Cadian Flash Tone and I'm going to paint the top areas of the muscles leaving the recesses intact. Uh, the key here is uh, to connect uh, all the individual muscles uh, when you're painting them. So don't leave any area between uh, two muscles uh, not painted like or dark. So you have to connect all of them so it will create like a natural effect and the natural shadows of the muscles. 
And then for the final highlight I'm going to use the Kisla Flash and this is going to be a very little highlight so it will be like a little dot on the top of the muscles and a little dot like uh, when you're going on the face it will be on top of the nose, on top of the cheeks, a little on the lips, a little on the forehead so nothing too much. Now I'm going to move on uh, working on the blue armor panels. Uh, it will be the same method as I did uh, with the green and uh, with the white ones. So I'm going to pick up a flat blue and I'm going to go over the previous uh, color like 90-95% just uh, leaving all the recesses and all the shadows intact. Uh, for the highlights I'm going to add a little of the white to this color and I will try to do like a non-metallic uh, metal. If you don't want to do non-metallic metal or you are scared of doing it, uh, you can just do the edge highlight uh, with this color by adding uh, more and more white to it until it's completely white and just do the edge highlight with the pure white at the end. But I'm going to try to do uh, non-metallic metal, so first uh, I'm going to add a little white and then highlight the areas that are mostly exposed to the light and then I'm going to add a little more white and then repeat the step but uh, uh, highlight less area than in the previous one and I'm going to continue doing that until I'm happy with the highlights. The key moment here is that uh, everything is actually in the practice, so you have to repeat this a couple of times to get uh, a hang of it how you are placing these lines, or uh, you can just copy how I did it uh, on this uh, model. Uh, here I will show you actually how the complete uh, look uh, is at the end. It is not perfect, uh, but uh, still I'm learning how to do these highlights uh, on the go and every time I done them they look uh, better than in the previous case. Now I'm going to create a worn uh, leather effect. This is a very simple technique and it's very easy to do. Uh, the thing is that uh, you want the uh, paint actually to be a little thicker, so I will use this paint straight from the bottle and I will use one of my sharpest brushes and I'm going to go around all the letter areas and I'm going to use the stippling technique uh, by just touching the edges and drawing uh, very thin lines uh, to simulate uh, like uh, scratches and how the letter got uh, damaged uh, over the time. And the final look uh, of this letter I will get uh, by using the color called smoke. Uh, so I will put it on my wet palette and I will add like four or five drops of water to it. So I will create like very thin wash. It is more like a glaze. And then I'm going to go over these uh, letter areas and I'm just going to cover them with this uh, thin layer of glaze. So it will uh, give them uh, like a very smoky uh, orangey brown color. Uh, now it's time to do the eyes and this is going to be a very little trick to do it. So just paint the eye sockets white and then pick up your dark wash like a dark tone or a noon oil and then just fill up the eye sockets with it. And then after the wash is completely dried just put a black dot in the middle of the eye. So it's a very easy process and it have a good effect on the overall look of the miniature. To highlight the hair and the facials, I'm going to use the orange fire and I'm just going uh, lightly using the side of my brush or just the tip of the brush and uh, pull out the highlights on the hair. Now I'm going to finish highlighting a gun and the black leather parts uh, like the boots 
and the rest of the straps that I haven't painted so far. Uh, so I will start by mixing uh, white and black like 50-50 mix until I get some medium uh, dark grey and I'm going to go all around and uh, use the edge highlight as much as I can and highlight uh, all the sharper edges uh, on these models. Uh, when I go to f work on the latter I will uh, focus on like on the parts where the letter connects uh, and uh, like all these little straps so I will try to trace as much lines as I can and to further enhance the highlights on the weapon I'm going to use a pure white and I'm going to trace again all the lines that I did uh, on the weapon but this time I will try to achieve uh, thinner lines than in a previous uh, step And the last detail that we are going to do on this model is to paint the visor. Uh, I will start with uh, painting it uh, with uh, orange brown, uh, just in uh, two thin coats uh, that I have a base color for my yellow that will go next. I'm going to use a deep yellow and I'm going to paint uh, just the outer edges uh, of the visor, just the leaving the middle section still uh, in the orange tone. And then for the final highlight I'm going to use the ice yellow and I'm just going to apply a little highlight in the middle of the visor and on the top and a little on the sides. And that's it guys, uh, these models are done. I'm almost done with the Ariadna section of the Crimson Stone. I have one more model left to be painted. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It will mean a lot to me. And if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the section down below and I will try to do my best. Uh, this will be all for now. Stay safe, take care and see you soon. Bye bye.